Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, this is going to be the start of a new, not series, because you're only going to get them twice a year. Um, I thought I would do an empties video. Now, some of you might be thinking, huh? But this is what I used to love watching on YouTube. Um, it was like empties and things that I've been loving and everything like that. And I can't really find them much on YouTube anymore. So I was like, you know what? I want to do that. So it's a very odd. I was thinking like doing like a full glam video because I'm sitting down with you. And I thought, no, much rather just be comfy and chill. So that is why we've got hair to the side. I've just scrubbed all my makeup off because... You know when half an eyelash is hanging off and you're just like, oh, you know what? The whole lot can come off. The whole lot. So, my lovelies, I've got two huge bags. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with the thumbnail yet. I think I'm going to be doing, once they're all out, just grabbing a handful of the products because it's not really going to look nice in these two bags, are they? So, I've got two huge bags and in this is basically everything and anything that I've been loving for the past six months, I think I've been doing it for. So what are we now? We're August. So I was thinking August, September, October, November, December, January, and I film the next one in March. And then March, April, May, March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah. So from about March time, I had the idea and I scheduled it in. So what we've got is quite random. To be perfectly honest, there's going to be no order. There's going to be no category. It's simply what I'm just going to be pulling out of the bag. Um, I don't feel there is as much skincare or makeup as I would have thought, because where we've had quite a bit of a heat wave, and in the summer I don't really wear makeup. Um, so obviously, roll around to next March when I do that, you will have a lot more skincare and makeup, because obviously through the colder months, your girl tries to embrace her pale look, but like with a bit of, <laughs> a bit of pizzazz, let's just say. And also there'll be a lot more skincare because obviously my skin gets sensitive in the winter so we need to look after it. So my lovelies, it's just going to be a chilled video. Come along the journey of the past six months with us and uh, yeah, let's just see what I've been loving, eh? So one of the things that I can't show you is candles. Because whenever I have an empty candle jar, before I was able to put it in this bag, mum had already put it in the recycling bag. So I'm gutted to say I don't have any. I am burning down my uh, watermelon still there. But the candles that I've been burning through so far through spring and summer, it was all like my Asda tea lights. And a few of the big candles were Yankee Candle Exotic Fruits because I got a repurchase of that. And then it was just a few of like the summer ones through Home Bargains and B&M and some DW Home ones I was using up trying to make way for the autumnal candles it is almost here my lovelies it is almost here but we're just gonna go with this bag because it's the closest and as I say no particular order what have we got so the first thing spectacle white box these are a twice daily minimum occurrence health point spectacle and lens wipes you pick these up from any of the bargain shops don't be getting them in like Tesco or Asda or anything like that. Get them from your bargain shops. You get 52 in it for a pound. Best believe I normally buy two or three boxes at a time because as I say, I go through them a lot. Once in the morning, once when I come back from work and then sometimes if I'm doing something and they get a little bit dirty, like if I'm cooking for example, your girl uses them and they're cheap and cheerful. We've got a can sliding out of here. Dash water. So if you don't like this noise... Dash water is sparkling water. So I know, I know, before anyone starts shouting through the screen, sparkling water ain't for everyone, my lovelies. I know that. But this, I first tried it. It was either HomeSense or TK Maxx. I picked up a pack of four, I think in black currant. And I really like them. They're zero calories and it's just sparkling water infused with wonky whatever it is. So this one was a wonky peaches. I think there's wonky blackberries. There is a cucumber one, a lemon and lime. And I just really like these. If you are on the hunt for something, Canon, there we go. If you're on the hunt for something like this, I picked these up actually through Holland and Barrett 
online um i was advised by one of my lovelies that online they do a lot more offers than they do in store so i like a nice little stock up of drinks every now and then and holland and barrett actually have a good selection of still and sparkling water so pick these up i think these were in the sale i'm going to say about a pound but i do think if you buy them full price they can nearly be about two pound a can which you don't want to be paying two pound a can let me just tell you that so uh everything on a budget let me know down below whether you are a steel or sparkling person i know that sparkling is an acquired taste but i have that acquired taste now this is going to be the first of many this is one thing you can guarantee on and that is bath products i have a bath every day sometimes twice a day so there is a lot of bath products so I do apologise. So it's kicking off with Imperial Leather. Now you know me, I have a bit of an addiction to bath care and Imperial Leather has become one of those addictions this year. I've kind of swayed away from Body Shop, not because I don't love it anymore, but I just feel for the volume that you get and they've upped the prices now, they used to be a five at the tub and now I think they're about 6.50. And I just feel like I could get six bottles of that from Imperial Leather because they're normally about a pound most of the time. So I'm just a bit like, I will of course still be getting my vanilla pumpkin if they bring it back out and some Christmas ones if they do nice scents. But unless there's like offers on or I have any points to use, I don't find myself going in there as much. I do need to pop in there soon though because I need to pick up another tea tree um, spot stick for your face because that is something I swear by and it is perfect for mother nature breakouts which i have one just down here on the chin and that blooming fantastic so the first of many which i'm sure you're gonna see imperial leather this was one with eleanor bauman and it was talk to the palm paradise palm and tropical fruits absolutely love these and with shower gels i use them as bubble bath shower gels everything mix them with a bit of exfoliant has this one got any smell left literally it's like bone dry Oh, 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 juicy, juicy. Let me know, my lovelies, are you more a shower gel person or are you more soap? Are you more, what's the thing that Lush do? Shower bombs that kind of like just lavas, little bars that you lava up and then shimmy away all over you. Let me know down below. Now... We're going to have a few boxes of these. How many have got? Three. Oh my goodness. What was up with hay fever through the months of probably May to July? Hay fever was on steroids. Absolute steroids this year. I have never known the pollen can to be so harmful. People who didn't even have fever were experiencing it and were like, what is this? The people who do normally have hay fever, we felt like we was being hit by a bus. I have never known the hay fever side to be like that. That was extreme. I feel like with the sea and everything, we wasn't out and about and bits and bobs. So this was kind of the first proper summer where we had good weather as well. Everyone was out. And all of a sudden, everyone is allergic to every single bit of grass and pollen. It was atrocious. So, uh, these are, how many tablets? 15 tablets. So, this was 30, 45. This was one and a half months worth. I know for the month of, I think it was June, I was constant with these. These were terrible. And then I think it was like towards the end of May and early July, it started to die down pick up so it wasn't as much but yeah pick these up though if you can if you still see them i think you still get them in boots and super drug out of all of the hay fever products that i've bought these are by far the best ones they beat the puritan and i think it's benadryl do one the only thing that i would um say is quite good but i couldn't get it this year was claritin's wild berries syrup but I think it's meant more for kids. I mean, I do still like to class myself as a child, even though probably genetically and birth certificate wise, they would say I'm an adult well into my adulthood. But yeah, I really like the syrup. I think I had that a good few years back when it started to play up. But these, really good. I think you can get a box of 7, 15, and I think you can get a box of 30. 
and I think the 30 box is about 10 or 11 pound which isn't too bad at all if you can get them from boots boots normally have them buy one get one half price so yeah highly recommend if i can still find some of these products online my lovelies i will leave them down below for you just in case anyone has any hay fever or you're on your lookout for some new shower gels yeah girls got you all right your girls got you right we've got a big one this time this is a good old favourite from a bargain shop. Imperial Leather again. Monkey Business. Guava Blossom and Jungle Leaves Iconic Bath Soap. Who remembers when I picked this up from the bargain shop and then I ended up going back and getting the other two that match the set. I love this because it's kind of a man's aftershave. Like it's sweet but you get that aftershave scent at the end. Absolutely love that. And of course I had to get all of the... Uh, um oh what do they call them hand washes got all the matching hand washes and these were a pound as well 500 mil for a pound and i think body shop was 250 mil maybe 300 mil max for six pound 50 the only thing that i do think is good value at body shop they do well they used to um you'd see them in the outlets the big liter jars i don't know if they still do them and they used to be 15 pound for a litre but if you went to the bargain shops at the outlet centres sometimes you would either get three for a tenner or if they didn't have many left they would do them just like half price 750 so those i don't mind getting because they would normally be in the grapefruit mango satsuma and strawberry like the four main key flavors which i absolutely love so yeah i would stock up on them if i saw them like that a little hand cleanser we've got a bubble tea cleansing hand gel pink lemonade you know me i'm always with a little hand gel in there but again you know what it is so hard my lovelies when say for example i was filming this video we're well, not filming but collecting for it you forget because obviously everything is natural habit to put it in the bin and then um delivery day rubbish day would roll around and i'd be like Oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to put that in there and then it was gone. So I have been through quite a few hand gels. My favourite ones this month so far have been a couple of bubble tea. I've had a um, strawberry and like a pina colada one. Also best of scents. You hear me speak about them in my monthly favourites. I will leave them linked down below. Best of scents are great. And also Carex I've been loving at the moment. And... I think they're 50p each in Superdrug, their own brand. They're quite a decent size. I think they're about 100ml. They're plain strawberry ones. They're really handy. Cheap and cheerful to pop in your pocket, eh? Right, let's get, because this is the biggest pop. My watermelon protein. So I am almost at the end of peach tea. So this is what I mean. There is quite a few bits that I'm almost at the end of now because I've started to use them more. So say, for example... There's a few serums and that that are almost on their way out. But, all in all, I think that skincare and everything will be bigger. Well, I say next time. It ain't going to be to another six months until we see one of these videos, my lovelies. But you'll have probably a lot more skincare. Because, obviously, I do ramp up the skincare in the winter months. Because no one likes dry, chapped skin, chapped lips. So, that will be that. My Protein Clear Weight Isolate Watermelon. I need to pick up another one of these. I probably don't because I've still got four more in there. But watermelon, wow. You buy these off of the My Protein website and they are normally, I think, around £27 per pot. But I'm telling you, my lovelies, this done me like a good three, four months. Oh, the smell of it. Mum wants to keep the jar for something. Goodness knows what. She thinks it'd be handy to put like coins in or something. But you can sometimes get these on special if they have offers for around £20 or £21. So it's always worth keeping an eye out. I much prefer these as opposed to the protein powders of which you need like milk with. These, you mix it with your water, chuck in a couple of ice cubes, you are good to go. It's just like you're having a refreshing juice, which has just knocked everything down off my bed. Fabulous. But you're getting your protein with it. Let's have a look. Ah, dry shampoo. Again, I've gone through several bottles of dry shampoo this month. Um, a mixture of this brand and Batiste. But again, Batiste, mum will go through my drawers just before rubbish day and she'll shake all the bottles. And if there's not a lot left, it goes in the recycling. And I'm like, no, mum, I needed that. So I managed to quickly put this one straight in the bag when it was getting to the end. And it's by the brand Girls Only Hair Care, 
with Moringa Extract, I got this one, Party Nights. This I'm sure I picked up from Tesco when I had my club card off as Canon. There we go. And I got the Party Nights. I'm sure there is a silver bottle and a black bottle, I'm going to say. And I think with the club card, these are about 150 which ain't too bad because we all know Batiste is, in my personal opinion, the stores are profiting from that. That is ridiculous. It's almost £5 for a big one. And I think it's something like 3 50 for a small one. That is daylight robbery. You're killing us girls with long hair that can't be bothered to wash it every other day. You're absolutely killing us. So something like this that actually does work. I've tried quite a few brands of dry shampoo. And some work but you need to use half a bottle on this i would probably say you still need a good like spritz of it but for 150 it's not too bad you probably i would say get four to six uses out of a bottle batiste obviously you get a lot more because you just need a tsh. but if you've seen any of my recent videos you know that i lather that one i'm like psh. it's like i'm in halloween i'd look like a ghost after because my hairline is just white well gray with all the dust oh actually there's another dry shampoo in here exotic coconut scented now this you pick up from home bargains i remember from the packaging these are one pound and this one ain't too bad either my lovelies the only ones that i'm not going to say i wouldn't recommend because i would in home bargains and b&m you get the swizzles dry shampoo i think i've shown them before like refreshers um Palmer violets, drumsticks, everything like that. They are only a pound. Now, you need to use about half a bottle on those. But, they're gimmicky. They really do make your hair smell nice. But this one is actually not too bad. Again, like the girls only. I'd say maybe four to six uses out of that. And for a quid, it ain't too bad. Even if you use a good whack of that and then just a few spritzes of Batiste, you can be good to go and save a bit of your money instead of the whole Batiste being like everything what have we got it's a lot of um hair and body products oh we've got another one as well so we've got three in there it's just the batiste ones that mama g took away quickly right here is one that we've got another few of as well facial pads now if you know me from day one in any of my skincare routines these have been them Deep Action Pore Cleansing Pads. These are Superdrug's own brand, my lovelies, all right? You get roughly 40 pads per pot. I would definitely leave these down below because you normally get them buy one, get one half price. They're roughly $3.99 a tub, so you'll get two for six. I cannot fault these, all right? If you are in a rush, say you put a bit of your micellar water on, you can't be bothered to cleanse and tone and all of that, Get one of these, really give it a scrub. They're double-sided, so you get two uses. Do one bit and then flip it over and do it again. Works wonders. Pop a bit of moisturiser on and you're good to go. Wear that a poor cleansing. It's almost like a little mild exfoliation as well. But as I say, nothing that is going to be too harsh on your face that you're going to feel like your skin is stripped bare. You know, it's just a nice, nice little exfoliation. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Oh, we've got more tablets. Oh. In line with hay fever on steroids, these were a lifesaver. These were from Home Bargains. I think they were like 50p. They are by Gal Farm. Gal Farm? I think that's how you say it. Blocked Nose Relief 12.2 milligram capsules. Non-drowsy. These are perfect. If you are like me with your hay fever, right? And, oh, smooth me leg, get a bit of cramp there. Oh, and I've just knocked my camera. Sorry, my lovelies. If you're like me, my worst thing with hay fever, it isn't the sneezing. It is the constant blocked nose. Like, I mean constant blocked nose. To the levels of which you can't breathe out of one of your nostrils half the time. These, perfect. You get 12 capsules, and as I say, I'm sure they were about 50 or 60p from Home Bargains. And what is this? Two a... Two a day? One capsule every six hours. So, yeah, I'd probably just take two a day in the morning and evening. But, yeah, highly recommend them. You know what? Sometimes you don't have to pay all of this extortionate money for branding bits because half the time they've all got the same ingredients in. You're just paying for the branding. 
Let's have a look. Ah, a brand that I have actually really been loving. And not kind of a new one for me, but I've only ever tried a few products from them before. And that is a brand called Faith in Nature. Now, as far as I'm aware, I've only ever seen this in boots. You might be able to pick it up elsewhere. I'm not entirely sure. But they do like body washes, hand washes. Do they do body lotions? I'm not entirely sure. It's a brand, as I say, I'm not very familiar with. I think I just saw them on off from boots and was like, yeah, that sounds a bit of me grapefruit and orange and coconut now let me tell you this grapefruit and orange one wow absolutely wow mm. very much like the satsuma body shop absolute dupe 400 mil i think they're normally about 350 a bottle for 400 mil but i must have got them on a special i'm gonna say maybe like half price no way would i pay 350 maybe two pound max but yeah i just thought they was different and again if i see them on off in boots yep they are gonna go in the uh online basket or the live trolley or whatever i have in my hand at that time because i do really enjoy them and when you enjoy something and you know it works your girl always goes back now another little juice from holland and barrow and you're probably gonna laugh at me but i think this is a blooming miracle so it's called up be at juicy protein water i know what you're thinking shannon it's water how is there protein i have no idea it's orange and passion fruit flavor it's got zero sugar b vitamins and 12 grams of protein now let me tell you this this is what i have been having again i've gone through quite a few bottles mama g's already put the rest out for recycling this is what i drink when i have my spin class because i find with spin i am still aching like a whoo pain so i find by having this i'm kind of repairing the muscles as i go before they like really really go before they get too terrible but yeah again i think this was maybe 150 in the sale they are normally holland to bear i'm gonna say about 250 275 but on an offer yes your girl is here and who would have thought that you could buy drinks from holland and barrett when I spoke to the girls about them, they was just like, they just sell tablets in it and like nuts and that. I'm like, no. Oh my goodness, they do so much stuff. Go online, get yourself a Holland and Barrett's points card. Because your girl's got a points card. Blooming love it. And da 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 da. Oh, we've got some bath salts. I forgot about these. You got any more creeping around in here? Nah. These are just from Superdrug. I think they was in a pack of five from a Christmas little selection box. Fantasy. Sunflower yellow and sunset pink bath salts. You know me, your girl loves a little bit of bath salts sometimes. Um, lately, you'll see I've been changing for a different type of bath soap to try and recover the body. But yeah, bath salts are a must. If, say, I'm going in the bath to wash my hair, I still can't have plain water. I have to have something. So obviously I don't want to put like bubble bath in there. So a few nice little sprinkles of bath salt and your girl is happy to go. Now a brand that I cannot live without, again on a daily basis my lovelies, is Femfresh. Every person needs Femfresh, alright? And I've just got a few examples because I say have gone through quite a few but I didn't want it to be repetitive. We have got two of their washes and a spray. This is great for on the go on the go if you're out and about on the go for after gym and you just want a bit of a freshen up that is fabulous and then they have two types of wash so you have they're both daily washes but one is a little bit more soothing and like non what's it non-allergenic like sensitive and this is just the daily one i don't have a preference it's just normally whatever's on offer the spray and these you can probably they're normally about, I'm going to say, four to five pounds sometimes. Again, check Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's? It's because I'm thinking of Holland and Barrett in my local town. <laughs> Go to Superdrug. That's what you meant to say. And Boots, have a look online. Always pick them up on and off of my lovelies. But yeah, I am well and truly stocked up. And Femfresh actually very kindly sent me out a little gift with a good stock up of sprays and little gels and also a talcum powder to try so yeah i was very impressed with that 
And then what have we got? I've oh, got loads more Imperial leather. This is what I mean, my lovelies. Because it is like so affordable, your girl just absolutely loves them. Can't go to a bargain shop without buying them. We've got another three here. All, are they Eleanor Bomar again? We've got two Eleanor Bomar wild thing, which was funky fruits and safari sunsets. This smelled a dream. I remember this one. And Imperial leather shells, sea sparkles and water lily. This was a very fresh one, if I remember. Again, super drug boots. Try your local supermarkets if they've got them on offer, if not the bargain shops. That is majority of the time where I get mine. You know, every time I do a bargain shop and I'm like, don't shout at me, I've got a bath product. And then the other one was Cousin's Creations. I've only just recently bought this, but my God, have I flown through it. I didn't realise that Cousin's was actually part of Imperial Leather. Dumb Shannon moment, but yeah, you learn something new every day. And this was Sea Sparkles and Water Lily. Very fresh, and probably next time I go down to Home Bargains or b and I will be picking this up because blooming love it, I tell you. And let's take a quick break. We're still not at the end of this bag, but I feel like I need a drink because I'm a bit parched. Don't know about you, my lovelies. I've been waffling on. But let's have a drink and then come back. All eh? right, let's get back into it, eh? Now I've had a bit of H2O. Let's have a look. Oh, a toothpaste. Now, I really like this in, I'm going to say, May and June. I went through a little bit of a phase where I wanted to try and whiten my teeth. And then I just kind of dropped off. Not going to lie, I just ended up going back to me Colgate. But I really like this. And again, from Superdrug. I think it's their own brand as well. And it is Coconut Whitening Toothpaste. Helps remove stains. Now, my lovelies, right? You're probably thinking, ill, ill coconut toothpaste oh the dogs are having a little bit of a barney outside do not knock it till you try it i absolutely love this and i think it was about i'm gonna say 150 to 175 i think you pay more because it is coconut and it is like a whitening effect did i notice a new effect on my teeth slightly i mean nothing massively because it's not like pure whitening strips or anything like that but i just like the taste of it you're gonna think it's weird but even though it's coconut i remember it tasting like roasted marshmallows so it was like a nice roasted flavor which most people will probably not like brushing their teeth but i found it i found it quite nice for a change you know ah miss sugar scrub that i've been going through this month well this month i finished it but it is the body shop mango these i don't think are too bad value for money how many mils are you oh it's not it's 70 no 262 grams 250 mil and i think these are about 15 quid but you don't need a lot oh the smell you can't knock the smell i mean that has practically been wiped dry there's nothing left of that you only need the tiniest of bits with uh, body shop scrubs and i say they are so, so good, especially, I found, for my elbows and knees. For my feet, I like to use something a bit harsher. I normally use um, a Sanctuary Spa one, but with that, great for my elbows. Or also, sometimes a Soap and Glory for my heels, because I feel they're a bit coarser, and I think where, with the gym, I'm on my feet a lot more, I'm putting a lot more pressure on them, I need to keep them all fit and smooth so that when they're in the flip-flops they're not looking like a crusty mess you know do you know what vibe i'm going on me lovelies and then what have we got in here random bottle of links again love a bit of links this i probably tend to use more i've got quite a few bottles of links in there at the moment after a gym session just especially after swimming to get out like that chlorine smell oh my god just be gone with me. I hate the feeling of chlorine on my skin. Lynx attract for her. This is the Fresh Temptation Rose and Bergamot scent. These are the ones that you get at Christmas, my lovelies. You know, with the can of deodorant. But I think you can buy these on their own. I think they still place them with the men's shower gels. I don't think they have a separate woman's section for Lynx. No, I think it is in with the men's one. But yeah, probably going to pay 2 to 2 50 Look if they're on offer, all right? Look if they're on offer. I'm actually almost coming to the end of the deodorant spray. That's one that I keep in for my gym bag as well. Let's have a look. Oh! A couple of different products. We have a 
a child's product, but something that I absolutely swear by. L'Oreal Kids Super Pear Tangle Tamer. Now, currently I'm using the Avon Mango one, but my lovelies, you need a Tangle Tamer in your life, all right? I don't know about you, but when I wash my hair, the first two things I put on it is a heat protector and a Tangle Teaser. Not a Tangle Teaser, a Tangle Tamer, Detangler Spray, something like that. Something that basically is not going to let your hair be a knotty mess when you're brushing it after you've dried it, okay? This, I mean, it's just the smell for me. They're so pure nostalgia. And of course... I will be taking one of these on holiday with me, whether I take this or my Avon one. Again, I think because it's L'Oreal Kids, you pay about two or two fifty. The Avon one, I think, was like a pound one fifty. So I might take one of them. But again, if you see it on offer, pick it up. Who says just because it's for kids, it's got to be for kids? All right. No one knows how old my hair is. I could have fresh extensions that are one years old. Does that qualify as being a kid? I don't know. And then one of the priming sprays I've gone through this month, well, again, finished off because this month has been where I started to try and get into a little bit more makeup. Even though the heat has been completely against me, I've been struggling. I haven't worn makeup most of the time, but a Fix Plus Prime Spray you need in your life because even if you don't have any makeup on, I like to, if I put my skincare on, still lock it in with this because i find it just helps it still look a bit like the dewy in that throughout the day so yeah mac prep and prime fix plus this is just the standard one i'm almost coming to the end of my rose is it rose light gold light rose i think it's my rose one pink light that's it pink light that's what i'm almost coming to the end of see can't remember right eh? shampoo I am lazy when it comes to washing my hair. I don't like washing my hair, do I? Not at all. Absolutely hate it. So um, I like a two-in-one because it saves me a job. And the one I've been doing is Pantene Pro-V, an XL bottle. Now, I think these are like five, six pounds. They are quite pricey. When did Pantene Pro-V become pricey? Hmm, what is going on there? Classic clean three-in-one for normal and mixed hair, shampoo and conditioner treatment. Again, I do feel like these are near on a fiver because when I went to the bargain shop, it was four fifty, and I was like, "Whoa! If that's four fifty in a bargain shop, where is it going to be in a normal shop?" So yes, love that. Any other two in one that you recommend? I know. I think Head and Shoulders do one. I think Head and Shoulders do, do do. But Pantene Pro V is just a classic. It's just what I go back to sometimes. I don't use Classic Clean. I think it's the green one, smooth and sleek. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong at all, my lovelies. We've got Soap and Glory product. Cleaner Colada. Love this, love this. Hydrating body wash. This is the one that is like Pina Colada. If you like Pina Coladas. Yes, I do. I do indeed. Can't beat a bit of Soap and Glory. Yes, again, it is pricey. Something like that is, I think, six fifty seven pounds But wait till you get maybe like double points at Boots or it's on a three for two and save yourself some money. Or if they're like, buy one, get one half price. I would highly recommend this. I also have a body scrub, which I think, oh, what's it called? Summer Loving. I think it's Summer Loving. It's like a pink and purple packaging. Highly recommend that one. The scent of it, oh my goodness. And another brand of shower gels that, again, is so affordable, like Imperial Leather, is Original Sauce. Original Sauce. This one is a tropical coconut and shea butter. 250ml. Again, they're like a pan in the bargain shops, my lovely. Currently, I am almost at the end of the tea tree one. We all know how much I love a bit of tea tree, and that is phenomenal. But, yeah, Imperial Leather, Original Sauce. When they are a pound... You cannot go wrong. That is, I think, what I will be stocking up for on holiday. Because, yes, I will be having a bath every evening. Some days, depending if I've been in the pool a lot or the sea with the hair and chloride, I'll be having showers. I be, might be having a shower in the morning to freshen up after if I've been to the gym. So I need a lot of body wash. And I don't want to be taking out, like, soap and glory and body shop and expensive ones cheap and cheerful and i would always like to take a little bit too much than not enough because the prices abroad i don't know about you but 
I saw a review that in the hotel, a box of paracetamols was the equivalent of about £12 when you get them in Poundland. £12 for one box. So I don't want at all to be caught short of anything. So I always like to take just a little bit extra and know that I've got enough. This is definitely something that I need to repurchase. So good job I've got this because I need to get it out, write the name down and find it. Again, boots. I think you probably get this like look fantastic, has a Fraser. And that is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now, we all know how much I love my Elemis Cleansing Balms. This is a mini. This was like from a... Oh, it matches my hoodie. <laughs> Lilac. This was from, I think, a gift set many years ago. But I would say like it is a dupe for the Elemis one. Like there's practically nothing left in that at all. I think that the big pot is about 20, 25. And I think the big pot of Elemis is about 40. So that is quite a big price difference. That's £15. Personally, I prefer the scent of the Elemis one a lot more and I feel with the Elemis one you get it goes a lot more oily like I feel it does seep into the skin a bit better with like you don't have to use a lot this you need to use like a fair amount like the same amount as you would use of a moisturizer to get it off but again hey ho for 15 quid price difference and also that's without it being on a sale if you can catch it on a sale why not absolutely why not eh and what have we got ah my absolute fave foundation at the moment that I need to stock up on. Need to get a few more bottles before holiday. I need to also buy new makeup for holiday for when I've got a bit of a tan. Because I don't know about you, my lovelies, but I've always been that person. <laughs> when I go away, my face never tans, okay? Never tans. She's caught a little bit of the tan in the English sun. So, fingers crossed she catches it in the Caribbean sun. But I will always be that person who will have like a brown neck downwards and then white so i need to start looking for shades to match tan so it might actually be handy while i've got a bit of color because this is only mild this is like from two days worth and that's not two days fully sitting in it that was an hour a day each lunchtime so it might be worth actually i'll have to pop out one weekend while i've still got a bit of a tan to try and match because yeah there's nothing worse than having like a lovely brown body and then with your foundation you're just like white saying that i don't tend to wear a lot of foundation on holiday because i try to embrace the natural look i might wear like a little bit of tinted moisturizer might have to get a darker one though because mine are quite pale oh no my nivea one's quite dark and then i just like to have it like very dewy a bit of highlighter well a bit I do go overboard with highlighter on holidays. I will let you know. I will look like a sparkling little bee walking around. You'll see me shining from wherever you live all the way over in Dominican Republic. Like, I do go to tan a bit on the highlighter. Oopsie. But, yeah, NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. Love this. I think this is about a tenner a pot. Again, boots. Pick it up when it's on offer or buy one, get one half price. Two for one. Love it. What shade is this one in, actually? light so i might have to look i think i used to get beige soft beige when i was on holiday we'll have to have a look won't we we'll have to have a look and the last thing in this bag my lovelies oh oh god sorry i'm just kicking the camera everywhere dove we all know i love a good dove these again are all from christmas purchases this is the pomegranate and hibiscus reviving zero percent sulfate love this one love dove for that sense i don't know about you i wish that they would make their tops a little bit easier to get into i have to hook my nail under them oh they are just fabulous and i say i've got quite a few left the ones that i've got left at the moment are the ones like the clay vibe that when you put them on they're like a clay exfoliation absolutely love it moving on to the second bag and now my bed is all filled i've got no room to put all of this lot let's move you over there and plonk you there right this is filled with a lot of stuff got another pantene i must have washed my hair a lot well it is through six months shan saying that sometimes i don't wash my hair for like over a week don't shout with me <laughs> dry shampoo is life this is a very large one. This is 700 mil. And that's 450. This has got to be like seven, eight quid. 
Look at the size of that one. Definitely need to stock up on some shampoos. And also, right, tell me, for travelling, what is with those minis? Like, the minis I saw in Superdrug the other day, I think they was like three for two, and I think they was roughly two to 250. The shower gels, that would just literally last me as a bubble bath. Like, what am I supposed to do with the rest? I'm not going to be able to lather myself up for two weeks. I think they're great if you're going away for maybe a weekend, or like a three-day weekend, if that. But two weeks? No, nah, your girl needs all her full-size products. Right. A brand that I've really been loving. Is there any more? Yep, yeah, there's more. Is Raydox. And that is because, my lovelies, when we've had them stress times, when we've had them achy times, can't even hold them, Raydox come through and again i think these are a pound boots i think i picked these up from but again you can have a look in your supermarkets but bargain shops boots or super drug so we've got four something has leaked in that bag because all i can smell i think it might be the uh, stress relief one eucalyptus that's what i'm getting so i've got the field detox blended with mineral clay herbs and acai berry this is great if they've all got like different properties to them i'm gonna say this is great when you are feeling a little bit stressed the scent of it just pop a few little like they say catfalls i mean i just pour it in you see my videos and it is a very calming scent we've got a couple of muscle therapies this one this one reminds me of man's aftershave because it's blended with minerals black pepper scent and ginseng this is like proper man's aftershave but when you get in, it doesn't burn, but it tingles. You're kind of like, oh, oh, but that is what you need for your muscles when they are aching. Trust me. Then we've got stress relief. I feel like this one is the one that could have potentially leaked in the bag. Blended with minerals, rosemary and eucalyptus scent. This, again, great when you're having those days where it just feels a little bit too much. That is a really good dupe for... Dr. Teal's eucalyptus soak. Um, Dr. Teal's is £10 for a litre. This is a pound for 500 ml. So this will cost you £2 to the equivalent of Dr. Teal's. But yeah, if you like that Dr. Teal's, try the stress relief one from Radox. Absolute dupe. And then the last one, again, is muscle soak. This is just sea minerals and sage. This one's not so harsh. This is kind of, it doesn't tingle or anything. It's just, is this the one that's more fresh? Yeah, nice fresh scent. It's not going to like blow your socks off or make your legs tingle. It's just a nice one. I love bath soaks that, number one, you know they're going to do you good. Whether it's for stress or your muscles or anything like that, they smell nice and you get a good lather on them. I mean, you probably shouldn't put in so much like I do, but hey-ho. Everything is just falling down now. Isn't that fabulous? Let's have a look. We've got oh, we've got a few different random bits in here. I am so happy with Amazon. Okay, hallelujah! I got some stock of my one and only lashes. I look dramatic. They've changed the name of all the eyelash lashes. So my ones used to be the number one forties from the exaggerate exaggerate range, and it says what's exaggerate number one forties. Now they were just dramatics. So I picked up four packs from Amazon, and as you can tell, I've ripped into them. I think they are the best lash for me because they frame my eye. I don't have to cut them. I feel like they look the best. They're so fluttery, so lashy. I do still love my Land of Lashes ones, don't get me wrong, but yeah. Those are the ones. I've picked up four packs. I will be keeping at least two for my holiday because if I go on holiday and do not have those lashes... I'm not going to be happy. I need to get some new eyelash glue. Need to do a little order, I think, soon. What have we got here? Oh, I wondered where this was. We'll just rebuy this because it's not like it's a, um, in the shape of anything. But we've got our little Easter bunny hand wash. Look at that. This is from the bargain shop. A pound, one fifty if that. Oh, oh my God. Crap, crap, crap. Ow. Oh, my goodness getting old body seizing up on me but yeah got the little one i always think i need to try and find like a proper easter bunny or rabbit hand wash pump you know and like a little soap dish and stuff like that i'd love all of that let's have a look 
more tablets home bargains again i think 50p under a pound definitely these are cold relief capsules 16 non-drowsy symptoms of colds and flus catar headache fevers aches pains everything like that when i had c for the second time i didn't know at first i thought it was just a really bad head cold and the amount of phlegm probably tmi that was on my chest and this was actually really good at trying almost it didn't disperse it i don't feel like it got rid of it but it made it a lot easier for me to bring up you know probably don't need to know that but yeah it made it a lot easier for me to bring up so i'm very appreciative of those and then we've got some more drinks i've oh, got some more dash what one's this sparkling water with wonky cucumbers i mean the uh can's a little bit wonky because i've dented the hell out of that but yeah absolutely love it and they say it's wonky because reduces food waste by accepting the misfits we judge on taste not looks so i love that it's all like your little veg that's a bit bruised or veg well yeah cucumber is a veg your fruit and veg that's a little bit bruised dash put them into the water which is fabulous we've got ah my mouthwash of choice this month Colgate Triple Action. Love this one. Bargain Shop, 150 Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes in the supermarket, you can be paying three, four quid for a mouthwash. I mean, is it permanently going to give me, like, a sparkling white teeth? Is it going to give me a whole new set of veneers for that price? No! Daylight Robbery. Right, if you've seen any of the recent Hello Fresh videos or the health vlog videos... Again, I got these from Holland and Barrett. Oh my God, the best water out there. Fiji water. Number one, look at the packaging. Is that not just the cutest packaging ever? Like, so cute. This is the litre bottle and these are the 500 mils. Again, from Holland and Barrett in the sale. This, I think I got in the sale... I'm going to say 180 for a litre. And these were about a pound for 500 mil. Again, they normally double the price if you got them not in the sale. But hands down my lovelies this is some of the best water i've ever tasted you're probably thinking you can't taste the difference i can that is one thing i pride myself on i can taste the difference in bottled water but yeah absolutely love that and again hydration is key hydration is key and i found myself i done that whole litre bottle in about the space of an hour blooming loved it absolutely loved it Another Radox product, I've gone through a lot of boxes of these. Um, in Super Jug, they're about £2, £2.50. Uh, uh, uh. Home bargains, I haven't seen any in B&M. Home bargains are quid. So this is the Muscle Soap, which is the matching one to... Is that one? Oh, that's the one that fell down and hit me. Fabulous. So these two are the pair. You've got the shower gel and bath soap and then the salts. It turns your water a lovely blue colour makes it smell fantastic let me just say and yeah oh lord everything is falling bath salts for muscle soak muscle soak bath salts that's what you need in your life all right that is what you need in your life what have we got here oh, i've got another fem fresh product this is the ultimate care so we've got another one as you can see i have been going through them it all varies you will always find right Boots with Femme Fresh may have an offer, say, on the shower gels or, like, the hygiene wash. And then Super Jug will have the offers on the sprays and the towel. Why can you not just have the offers on the whole range? Why do you have to split in that? Because I can't be bothered to keep tracing around the shops, you know? Can't be bothered at all. I've got another Dove here. Oh, this is a detox one. Oh, this is the green clay. So what one have I got left? Pink clay? Might be pink clay. These are great. These are a proper, it says on their purifying detox, they are. These are like you're going in, in almost like a mud bath. But it's not a mud bath. It's like the clay bath. Is it in Turkey? Where you have like a clay bath and you go into like the sauna. That is what this gives you vibe. Again, I think this one might be slightly more. I think this is around £2 for the clay versions. But again, you can get the big ones on offer like the normal body washes for sometimes a pound one fifty. Snap them up, I say. Snap them up. We've got, we've got little roll-ons made it in here. The rest obviously went into the uh, rubbish. Dove, cucumber and green tea scent. Love a bit of Dove. I don't use any other roll-on apart from Dove. That is 
Well, that's actually a lie, ain't it? My day-to-day -day use is Dove. The only other roll-on I use is Lynx. That's purely for the gym. But my daily go-to, always Dove. Mum will use Dove or Mum, because Mum is what Nan used to wear. So, yeah, love a bit of that. And we've got one more bottle of Imperial Leather. Oh, my God, probably one of my favourites, okay? Coca Colada, Pina Colada and Coconut Cream. If it's got coconut and like Colada, it's going in the basket. One pound, my lovelies, okay? One blooming pound. What is your favourite bubble bath, shower gel? Where do you go for your offers on them? Do you stick with Boots and Superdrug or do you just get them from the bargain shops? Let me know down below. Let me know down below. And then our last few final things we've got. Here we go. Champneys, a little pick-me-up, citrus blush, enlivening daily scrub. This, along with the Clinique, I need to repurchase because this is what I normally use on my heels because even though it is an exfoliant, it's quite moisturising. So you get the best of both. And I love the way it makes my little tootsies feel after this. So that I need to repurchase. And then this, I want to repurchase, but I don't think they do it anymore because I've had this for forever and a day, okay? And it is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. You will have seen this in many of my daily routines, makeup videos, anything like that. It is just perfect. It's perfect just to pop on and go out because it gives your skin a lovely, lovely shine. A bit like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Face Serum. This isn't as illuminating, but it's probably a fraction of the price. I think this was about £12. Don't know if I can repurchase it though. So you can go to one side because I need to see if I can still get you. If not, I'm going to be very heartbroken, let me tell you that. And then we also have, oh, we have a little Nivea cream. Diamond and Argan Oil. Again, these are like, a, I'm going to say not a quid. They're about 150 I think, from Boots and Superdrug. But these are really good. Very soft. I go through stages with my skin. I'm quite a lot better now. Like, I can use different bits. Like, I can try Imperial Leather and all that. But there was times when, like, my skin would be really sensitive when I was younger. So, Dove and Nivea would be all that I would use. And then I slowly started to introduce like Body Shop and then slowly a bit of Lush and then the Imperial Leathers I thought, mm, because they was like cheaper, I thought they might irritate me a bit more but I've been absolutely fine. So I think my skin is just becoming an adult. It's getting over itself so I love that. I do have another two of these. I think I've got a coconut, an orange one that is currently in the bath still but yeah. 250 mil for about 150 I'm going to say on the Nivea. I still don't think it's terrible. And the last thing, my lovelies, again, from Holland and Barrow, you've heard me rave about these in my monthly favourites, is Can-O Water. Can-O Water. Yep, you heard it right. Water in a can. So this is the sparkling water, and then you also get a white can, which is still water. I've gone through quite a lot of these. And mum's put every single one in the recycling. This is the one that I had from when I filmed my monthly favourites. And I was like, right, I'm keeping hold of this. Because you're going to take it away from me. And I need to show at least one of the cans, please, mother. All right? But yes. Oh, my goodness, would you look at my bed. My bed is heaving. I just need to scoop this up and try and do a thumbnail later on. But... Let's stop rabbiting and get in with the outro, shall so, we? So, my lovelies, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. As I say, a different little sit-down for me. Um, they're not like monthly regulars, nothing like that, because you see what I've been using on my monthly favourites. But this is just like a build-up of every six months, you will see what I've been loving in accumulation. Because I could be loving something for one month, and then I won't pick it up for another four, you know? But these are stuff that I've been using throughout the past six months. And again, as I say, the next one will be in March 2023. Oh, my God. And you know what's scary? That's going to be here in the blink of an eye. Remember this moment, all right? When we get to March 2023 and we're like, do you remember six months ago when you were saying, yes, yes, we do, all right? But I think we've done all right. A lot of bath products a lot of bath products um i think i'm gonna take a wild guess throughout the winter you're still gonna have loads of bath products i think there will be a lot more skincare probably a bit more makeup because i have to try and make a bit more of an effort in the winter probably a lot more hair care as well in the winter because if we have a little bit of a change up with the bar on it so there might be like a lot more heat protecting and color protecting and everything like that but i think you'll still have the classics like femme fresh dove 
radox imperial leather i just can't help it hopefully a few more pots of me my protein did you hear that that was everything falling on me bed blooming fantastic <laughs> but my lovelies if you did enjoy the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment do you use any of these products or what has been one thing that you can look back on and think for say like the past six months and think yes that is something i have used religiously or something that has stuck with me and that is what i need in my life all right but yeah i am now going to struggle and try and lift all of this well i say all of it maybe some of it to do a thumbnail so i don't know how that's going to work out you would have already seen the thumbnail before this video went live um yeah so just however that thumbnail turns out just think of me trying to lift all of this as i say um i don't think it'll be all of it might have to just do a swoop up and there we go but yes take care stay safe as always and i do hope you've enjoyed this little extra upload because as i say it is a bank holiday in scotland so it might not be a bank holiday in england but you know me every bank holiday i will always do extra upload so yeah this was your little extra upload if you are in scotland mwah, i do hope you have a lovely bank holiday our bank holiday is not until the end of the month We've got to wait. So, of course, at the end of the month, you're going to be having extra uploads. I think it's like four back to back. And then autumnal content starts. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye, guys.